Before there was the Count, there was William. William Basie was born on August 21, 1904, to Harvey Lee Basie and Lillian Childs Basie, and was raised in Red Bank, New Jersey. There was always a piano in the house growing up, so William started music early. As a teen, William won the Asbury Park Piano Competition with the help of local drummer Sonny Greer, who would go off to join the Duke Ellington Band. William hit the Asbury Park music scene by storm and got on the radar of many musicians. Basie would then quit high school to pursue his music career, becoming the Count. In 1924, Basie took to New York City, where he was greatly influenced by pianists like James P. Johnson and Fats Waller, who taught him what it really meant to be a band leader. He also began the next step of his career by playing gigs with the Columbia Amusement Company. After finding success, he would make an attempt at a tour in 1927, but would find himself stranded in Kansas City as the tour was a bust. He would spend two years trying to find a way out until he landed a spot in the Benny Moten Band. While on the road, the band would find itself in dispute with Benny Moten, so after a vote was taken, Benny was kicked out and William was made the new band leader. Though he was the band leader, he never stole the spotlight from his band, a style he picked up in New York City. It was in that time that he became the Count. Some say it signifies his place among fellow jazz royalty Duke Ellington. Basie remembered it as the nickname he got for slipping away from rehearsal mid-song after the count-off. Changing Jazz In the 1930s, Count Basie would return to Harlem with his new band. They made a home at the Apollo Theater and introduced the big band sound to Harlem. They reinvented jazz by bringing their new shared spotlight style of playing. Count Basie and his orchestra were only one of a few all-black bands that found any major success. Even though, it wasn't common that record buyers would go out and buy an all-black band's music. For example, Count Basie's song One O'Clock Jump wasn't well known until after bands like the Benny Goodman Band and the Harry James Orchestra covered them. Only then would they reach popularity. Unfortunately, it would be too late for Count Basie, and his original record would be left unknown. This was too often the case. It wouldn't be until the later part of the Harlem Renaissance, and after World War II, that black and white musicians would be seen as equally skilled. Jazz's growing popularity would land Basie's orchestra at the renowned Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York in 1957. It was a major milestone in the civil rights movement, specifically for black musicians, as they were the first all-black band to play there. His band's fame would continue on growing as they would be recruited by the biggest names in jazz. They can be heard on recordings with Tony Bennett, Billie Holiday, and famed members of the Rat Pack, Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra. His music is also featured in films like Stage Door Canteen, Blazing Saddles, and The Last of the Blue Devils. Basie would keep playing until his death in April 26, 1984 due to pancreatic cancer, but his band would continue his legacy under different leaders.